as like oh yeah. yeah yep for sure yes. no problem with that yeah so players will have like different experiences when they play the, like the dual mode so it's not just the same stuff over and over again. i'm not gonna lie this is a really nice foundation for yeah. this is cool it's i can really good yeah like after so after seeing like what pulled people into fort so much it was a a simple to pick up game with a really good uh with a good skill ceiling like a good amount of sh that people could work on just to get better and I, I can see just the movement and timing of your abilities in this having such a crazy high skill ceiling man hey guys ethos here for samurai zero and today i wanted to check in and share with you guys some of the major stuff the team has been working on this past month first we just wanted to thank everyone who tried out the samurai zero movement build back in october uh, it was uh, an overwhelming success and your feedback has been very insightful as we continue development you guys showed us really how much you enjoyed the mechanics and what areas we can do to further improve them. While we won't dig too much into the feedback today, uh, we will discuss it in the future in a separate video. But I am extremely excited today to share with all of you the first ever in-depth look at Samurai Zero's updated combat engine. Welcome to the Art of Combat. Samurai Zero features round-based game modes, encouraging intense moment-to-moment -moment gameplay and tactical pacing for the larger game when moving from round to round. Today we wanted to show off a early prototype of our dual game mode where two players face off in the ultimate face-off. At its core, combat in Samurai Zero is a dope gameplay shampoo that merges real-time skill-based action with a layer of tactical RPG customization. Each samurai has their own light and heavy attacks that, when combined, can string into combos and different effects. The game's light and heavy attacks are categorized as what we call combat arts. And when on defense, there are multiple mechanics available to you. The guard ability allows you to protect yourself from combat arts in front of you. Timing this right before getting hit causes you to deflect an enemy's attack and transition into a counterattack. Dealing with a defensive player? No problem. In Samurai Zero, every character has their own resolve, and this resolve is damaged as they guard attacks. By hitting a guarding enemy or deflecting an attack from someone attacking you, you will deal damage to that enemy's resolve. Completely depleting the enemy of their resolve causes them to enter into what we call a broken state, unable to move, allowing you a small window to execute them. However, if you're the type of player who fancies mobility, every samurai has a dash ability that can be used to avoid getting hit or can even be utilized for movement and closing the gap. Along with your base combat arts, samurai can also be equipped with chosen skill and heroic arts which are unique to each samurai which require strategic usage for best results. Each samurai will come with two skill arts and one ultimate ability called a heroic art. These are very powerful abilities that usually have a cooldown or some other resources required to activate. The heroic arts specifically are enabled by obtaining a certain number of charges. These charges can be obtained by eliminating an enemy or moving to the next round. The interesting thing about these arts is that they are unable to be guarded or deflected unlike combat arts. So let's get into it a little bit. Ryder's first skill art, Instant Flash, allows him to send out an afterimage of himself that attacks in a straight line. It's a great ranged poke attack and it can go through walls. His second skill art, Speed Razor, hurls his electric blade at an enemy dealing heavy damage before recalling the blade. While similar to his first skill art, this one does allow for some more creative applications. His heroic is Stellar Conclusion. Ryder charges up his attack before launching himself in the direction he's looking. If Ryder hits anyone during this dash, he will begin to unleash a flurry of strikes upon them and finishes the combo with a powerful knockback effect. But that's not all. While we showed you three of Ryder's possible abilities, there will be even more variations of them available to players to experiment with. And we will reveal more of Ryder's ability set as development continues. Fluid movement and special abilities increase the overall strategy of combat while all being balanced to give players the freedom to experiment and find what feels best for them. Enhancing your samurai and mastering their different movesets will be the key to victory in Samurai Zero's multiplayer. And we hope you're excited about this little taste of what we've been working hard on for the past month. We are looking forward to sharing with you guys details on our next demo build in regards to combat. And of course, we are always looking forward to your feedback. Once again, as always, Thank you guys so much for your support, and remember, always forward. Until it extends past me, yeah. and my limits, and time is today. Now you get a brace, just popping that shit out your mouth. You put the edge of my brain.